the studios inside the Lawrenceville School's historic Pop Hall, I'm Maggie Blunden and this is L10 News. Today we begin with a dorm room tour. From decorations to snacks, Chloe and Nani have all the advice on dorm room essentials. Let's take a look at what's inside their room. Hey guys, can I come in? Oh my goodness, what a pretty room you have. So who am I with here today? Ani and Chloe. And what form are you two in? Seniors. Seniors. And how long have you guys been rooming together for? Since freshman year. Four freshman years. Year. Wow, that's a long time. So can, can we come on in and take a closer yes. look at what you yes. guys have? Perfect. So, what was your inspiration for this desk situation over here? Um, so basically I wanted it to feel like nature, so I wanted to put flowers, and I wanted it to be just like very like pretty, so I did a lot of blue. Yeah. It looks so nice. Okay, Chloe, what do you think makes your dorm room unique? Um, I think the hominess to it. Um, we've never tried to make it too perfect or too clean, just to make it feel slightly like home, but um, I don't know. Also, being roommates with Ani for four years. I love that. And what's one thing from home that you've brought here in your room or incorporated? Okay. This is Flopsy. I oh, think I'm so cute. You, so, Flopsy's in the L-Town interview. Yep. Yeah, um, there you go. Adam one thing from born. home. One thing. I love that. So cute. Okay, Ani, we know how it is a life of Laurentian. You're usually hungry, those late night snacks. So, what is your favorite late night snack? Um, I think it would have to be these. Wow. These are so good. Um, <laughs> Why do you like them so much? They're just like very salty and like a little bit spicy. And yeah. Who do you think has the best snacks in the house? In the house? Yeah. I have to say Maddie, Madeline Widener, because she um, has lots of candy and she always gives it up. So you two, could you guys tell me a little bit about your dorm room essentials? Okay, so the first thing I think is very essential is this little jewelry dish because I really like it, first of all. And very pretty. Of all, it just like makes it look more organized, so I love that. Um, these crystals, um, they're really good luck. I got them as a gift, so that's definitely an essential. And what do you guys have over here that helps you kind of maximize the space in this dorm room? Oh, one really important thing. We oh, use, so you need a fan in the oh. summer and spring. That is true. But what do you do with it in the winter? Coat rack. Genius. Okay, so to all the prospective students who are thinking about living in a dorm room, so what would you guys tell them to bring and what would you tell them not to bring? So we'll start with Ani first on what would you tell them to bring? Okay, one thing that we both have that's like really helpful is this like metal cart thing. It's in both of our closets that are like messy, so like I don't want to show it, but like <laughs> it's like this metal cart and you can just store like shampoo and like just like anything in it and it's really a good like way to maximize your space. So that sounds good. And any add-ons to that, Chloe? Um I would say maybe like some photos and things that make your room feel personal. Right. Um because the rooms are pretty bland in general um not to bring too many clothes it yeah, actually is one. more overwhelming than helpful and then like you have like overflowing drawers like i do which is unfortunate thank you chloe and ani for inviting us into your space you have such a beautiful room any thank last you. remarks no no thanks for coming, thanks for coming. perfect <laughs> Thanks to Augusta, Marco, and Clementine for the segment. Now to arts. Kingsley and Simi take us backstage of Cabaret, Lawrenceville's annual performance of Broadway songs. This is Simi with L10, and today we are here in Clark Music Center to take a little look at the Cabaret event. I am one of the performers, and I am so, so grateful to be performing with such a talented group of people and I'm so excited to show you what the cabaret is all about. Every day is true. I'll never belong to you. Cause I am not your toy to enjoy till there's something new. As if I'm gonna give up my boy, my work, my dreams to care for you. I'm here with Mr. Campbell himself. Mr. Campbell, can you tell us a little bit about what cabaret is? So the Broadway Cabaret has been around for many years. It's an evening of scenes and songs stitched together from many different musicals and sung by our many talented uh, voices. And it's a lovely event every uh, 
second to last week in February. Claire is one of the most talented seniors I know, and I am so fortunate to have performed alongside her tonight. Uh, Claire, can you tell us a little bit about what music at Lawrenceville has meant to you thus far? I don't know, it's meant everything. It's meant community, it's meant meeting people, well, I knew Simi, but it's meeting, <laughs> like, meeting people like Simi, um, and just getting to come together in a space where people are celebrated. I'm here with another talented senior. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your song choice? Um, I picked With You from the musical Ghost. Um, I don't know, I like the song a lot because a lot of singers that I look up to sang that song for like musical theater awards and stuff like that. And it was a song that fit my range like perfectly. That's why I picked it. But it was a more acting heavy song as well. So it was a lot harder to sing. And she did it beautifully. Aria, you were amazing tonight. What inspired your song choice and how does it feel to be um, spending your senior year here in Clark Music Center. You know, I'm actually really sad. This is the last one, but this was such a fun time. What a rush. Um, and um, What a rush. Yes, what a rush. And my teacher actually chose to stop it. My teacher actually chose this song, but um, it was um, a lot of people have told me to sing country and I'm glad I finally did it. Um, Patsy Klein is actually queen and I'm so glad I discovered her. Aria, you were beautiful tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Simi. Simi was fantastic, too. I was. <laughs> I thought it was amazing. I mean, so much talent in one room. Uh, we're so proud of everyone, especially proud of you. Being part of the arts at Lawrenceville is definitely like one of my favorite experiences I've had in a school in my life. Um, as someone who's gone to multiple schools before, like the arts program here at Lawrenceville, just as Claire was saying before, is such a supportive place. And I've made so many friends that I'm gonna keep in my life for a long time just by being here. So thank you, Claire. What an inspiring night we had. Congratulations to all the singers on the incredible show. Finally, a segment from Mr. Dom's film class. David Chen brings us to wrestling practice to hear head coach Clore's thoughts on what it takes to be a wrestler. So I'm Coach Clore. I'm the head wrestling coach here at Lawrenceville. Um, this is my 12th season as the head coach. Prior to coming to Lawrenceville, I also coached at a few other schools uh, and before that was uh, a wrestler at Princeton. My coaching style really centers on a few key philosophies. I think at the center of it all is the desire to, to use wrestling as an opportunity to prepare people for life, um, to develop grit and resilience and tenacity and courage uh, that we all need more of. I just like to use wrestling as a platform to do that. Um, in order to develop those things, obviously hard work is gonna be central to it and focusing on consistent improvement and relentless effort. Uh, every day in practice is a little bit different. Um, some days we'll focus more on adding new technique and building the technical repertoire. Uh, other days we'll focus more on live wrestling and really competing. And still other days we have our diesel days, which are focused on conditioning. We try to get a mix of all of those things to really prepare ourselves for competition. I'm always encouraging the wrestlers to not think about the situation as a do or die, not to think about it as a now or never, but to think about it as an opportunity to just do the things that we do every day in practice. They don't have to do anything extra special to be successful in a match. They just need to execute the techniques that we've been working on for weeks and weeks. And I think when you realize that that's all you need to do, you don't, realize, you don't think you have to go outside of yourself to do it, and it helps you to remain calm and feel prepared. I think for us as a team, we've had some success so far this season because we are consistent throughout the lineup. Um, we lost some great wrestlers last year to graduation, um, but we have some people really stepping into those holes in the lineup. And there's nowhere, as I look from top to bottom, where we are really weak. We just have solid wrestlers at every weight class, which puts us in a position to be very competitive in a dual meet. My goals, kind of as I mentioned before, are really not to do with wins and losses. They are to develop student athletes with unusual grit and determination and courage. And I think that if we focus on those things, if we uh, make sure that we hold each other accountable to training with, with intensity and with focus and with purpose and to competing uh, in those same ways, bringing the fight to every match, uh, we will achieve those goals. And I think that we'll see the wins uh, follow along behind. Thanks for the story, David. 
More news. The Big Red Robotics team has advanced to the New Jersey State Championship Tournament after placing first overall in the New Jersey Upper South Conference League Tournament. Congratulations on the amazing feat and good luck at States. This past weekend, boys and girls squash competed in the U.S. High School Championships. The girls team advanced to the finals and is now second in the nation. Congratulations. That's it for this week's episode. As always, if you have a story to share, let us know or stop by our office in the basement of Pop Hall. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to never miss an episode. From all of us here at L10, thanks for watching and have a great spring break.